We're here with Melissa Lundgren, who is uh, Ultimate Canada's 2011 Female Athlete of the Year. And this year she got to go to Worlds with Team Canada. She went to Canadian Nationals with a co-ed team from Toronto. And she went to USA Nationals with um, a women's team from combined between Ottawa and Toronto. So one thing that I've been trying to do more of is add more content on the blog about Women's Ultimate because it's really overlooked, I think, with the ADL, the MLU, um, you know, Brody Smith's trick shots, um, all these sports center highlight clips that are all pretty much men's ultimate. And there's a lot of amazing female ultimate players, Melissa being one of them, even though she won't really admit it. <laughs> She's very humble, which is what ultimate's all about, right? You go out and you play for yourself. You're not playing for recognition. You're not playing to be on sports center. You're not playing to make money because if we were playing to make money, we'd all suck at it really badly. So um, today I have a bunch of questions that we're going to go over. Hi, my name is Melissa Lundgren. Uh, I'm a Winnipegger, uh, born and raised, and have uh, moved and lived in Toronto for the past uh, eight years. And been playing uh, Ultimate both as a junior, women's co-ed in a lot of different cities. Uh, this was a pretty intense year. We started um, probably prepping and, and playing for this year last year. Um, we had, we obviously won nationals last year in the spot to go to Worlds, uh, and so started the process of prepping for that uh, in the fall and through yeah. the winter and held a bunch of sessions uh, with the team to try and improve our strategy, improve um, the way we play, uh, and come up with some, some great things to take into the season. So that started, you know, throughout the entire winter, every second week we'd have sort of a camps camp. Um, and then tryouts and everything started, I think, first week of April. Okay. Um, so tryouts, pretty intense set of tryouts between, you know, across Canada. Uh, and then, obviously, Worlds, where we finished third uh, in uh, Japan, which was super exciting and super amazing. And uh, we had some huge breakthroughs for us uh, at Worlds. Great uh, accomplishment there. Uh, and then... Nationals was just a very fun thing this year, uh, playing co-ed back to sort of my roots, started off playing junior, so love playing co-ed and, and got to play with some, some great friends. Uh, and then uh, finished off the year with uh, a very nice, sunny, but very windy Sarasota, um, where Capitals finished seventh uh, with a, a bit of a different roster than uh, we took to Worlds, um, but uh, sort of Every four years, we end up rebuilding after Worlds and, and starting over. So happy with uh, the start of sort of the next four years in Sarasota. Awesome. What was your involvement with Team Canada Women's this year? Um, so, I, I mean, I was one of the players on the team. We had uh, three captains, uh, rookie or Kristen, Danielle, and Kate taking over. Uh, and leading the team, and then a bunch of us, uh, most of us were, were pretty much vets for the past couple of years, and so um, helped with strategy um, on O and D, and, and making sure, um, you know, we had the right strategy going into everything, but uh, just a typical player on the team this year. Do you prefer playing or leading, like happening? I prefer playing. Um, I really, really, really love helping develop players and coaching mm -hmm. um, and working on skills and things like that. Um, so that part I really like about that. I think this year, just captaining uh, in the fall, um, it kind of takes away from the ability to do that because there's so much organization and logistics and things that you have to do that it takes away from uh, actually helping people improve, which is sort of one of the things that I would really prefer to do versus the, the leading logistics side of things. Awesome.